What's up? Alrighty, guys, it is a beautiful Friday here in the Ozarks. Of we got course. our freeze over on Tuesday, and now it's like a lovely, balmy 50, 60 degrees. So, it's gonna be like 80 this afternoon yeah, and this weekend. It's gonna be fabulous. I'm super excited uh, to be working a rock show inside while we have lovely weather outside. But whatever, it's cool, it's all great. Alrighty, so we've got uh, Fred and Pooh over here. Look, we found Fred a hat. If you guys remember this hat. Right. Um, so we've got little Paddington. <laughs> so anyways, he's super cute all over there. Um, we completed a couple things off screen, but not too much. Mm -hmm. So we are continuing the teddy bear from Wednesday. For those of you that weren't here on Wednesday or have no idea what I'm talking about, we're doing the teddy bear pattern. Um, we are making the large version of the teddy bear. Boy, is it large. It's, it's Good size, yeah. So Fred There's over here a is a large coffee cup next to him, and I believe I believe that Pooh is a small. I'm gonna just keep, and I think there's also a medium size, but we haven't made one of those, so I don't know what size he is. Um, in any case, we have gotten uh, Mr. Arms assembled. We did decide this is the arms, um, just kind of like full length over here on Teddy number one. But we decided they were a little funky. They were a little too long for our liking. So on Teddy number two, we have shaved off the top inch or so of the shearling on the arm. And we're going to sew it in place and then trim it off um, here. So we'll have a little bit of a shorter arm compared to can have that back, Sorry. Compared to Teddy number one over get here. The, get the arms a little closer to the same length as the And we got our cute little legs all assembled. We did the... Um, Backside of the shearling for the pads of the feet. So you've got a little contrast there. Super cute. Little cute feet. Um, we've got our ears assembled. So cute little ear. Maybe the top, Tony. Okay. I can't go to the top camera. Because we didn't turn it on. <laughs> hey, Justin. <laughs> Here, use that one. All right. So we've got cute little teddy ears over here. Oh my, we'll just oh my. look. Ow. Hang hang tight, guys. Hey, did you hear that shock? I tell you, because <laughs> you don't put your feet up. <laughs> Bone dry, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so cute little ear. We have done the inside um, once again as the backside of the shearling. So then the uh, back of the ear is the fluffy part. So cute little accent there. We've got them stuffed. So we've got the two ears. We put the tail on. So that went well. We did have to hand sew it again because it was very hard for me to catch in the seam. I barely caught it. And I think it, it was really only caught whenever I had previously sewn it in. So we had to go back in and um, and tack it. And by we, I mean Ryan, <laughs> went back in and tacked him on. So it worked. Yeah, yeah, it's good. We got, we got our little fluffy butt. And once again, remember to put the tail above the dart. Everybody, I said it wrong last time a bunch <laughs> and all of you okay. yelled at me. So above the dart, the tail goes right above so that when he sits, his little tail sticks out like that. Perfect. So the small bear, if it's standing on its feet, is just about 16 oh, inches. Good. Michael confirmed that it is a small. Nice. Yeah. And then the large bear standing on its feet, on its tippy toes, is 24 inches tall. 24 inches. So sitting down 16 and a half for the large and... Sitting down for the small is 11. Also, thank you to Randy Myers who sent in a trading card. We will get out um, one of Denny or Kevin's. Let's see, did you make a request? No, you did not make a request. So we will send you out a card of Denny or Kevin's. So thank you very much. This thing is thick. Yeah, serious one. So anyways, that's super awesome. I don't know if it's going to fit in my slap board, Randy, but we'll give it a shot. You wouldn't happen to have a seam ripper, ripper back here, would you? Mm -hmm. I definitely just sewed this ear on backwards. It's quite. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. I don't. We have little snips. I got snips. Very yeah. okay. toes. Sure. You can sew. You could sew some little toes on there, I suppose, if you wanted to <laughs> in your you. seam. You can do whatever you want, guys. Do whatever you want. I think toes would be more unsettling than the long arms. Yeah, toes would be weird. Alrighty, so we got the back, or this is, so we have the chest part sewn up. Once again, this is just a seam 
you want to make sure that you catch if you have shaved the shearling off. Make sure you sew inside of that so you don't have a little bald chested bear. We haven't had to resew anything. No, <laughs> we have had a couple seeds that we've had to resew, but that's all. That's all right. And then also, so we notice like on this little guy, his his chest does kind of poof out quite a bit here. So if you wanted to make that thinner, you can just sew in a tighter section from about mid belly mm -hmm. up to the top of the neck. Make sure you leave the neck the same dimension, and then just sew it a little bit straighter, and that'll take out a little bit of the pucker there. If you wanted to, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he sits pretty cute. This, Plus, it would be nice for his little necktie. This pattern's built well with like a really exaggerated teddy bear proportion, but if you want to change it or alter it, it's really easy to do. Yeah, the, yeah. the pieces all fit nice enough that it's not it's hard to simple. make changes. We've got the front and the back. So what Ryan and I are going to divide and conquer today, <laughs> um, we are going to finish sewing the head up, and then one of us is going to start hand sewing the eyes and the nose on it, and then the other person is going to start assembling the body with all of the arms and legs to go into him. So... It is. It's a very like the the legs so up the chest. So like you put the legs in. Jacket. Yeah, and then and then you put his arms in, and it starts getting very complicated after you get about half of one arm in because there's a lot of body parts in the bear. It at that becomes point. an origami project. Yeah, pretty it's quick. fun. It's a good time. This is this is what we're doing. That's what it looks like. Okay, take two. I don't know what Dean is sorry about. You can be sorry, Dean. That's fine. You don't have to. You do. probably should be sorry about something. I'm sure. Thanks. He was asking if we used earwax for the bear, the ears. Mm. Of, yeah. course, of course we did. Loaded it up. Absolutely. Realism. Are you going to do it right this time? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no. So. Yes. Yes. Cool. Let's see. So while he finishes getting the head assembled, I'm going to start taping the legs on to the chest, I believe. Yeah. Well, first, I'm going to read my instructions and make sure I'm doing it right. Yeah, the instructions for this are great, too. Um, yeah. I've been really happy with them, and they're really, really followable. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> All right, so we're going to take the front of the chest. So we've got the chest sewn up the middle. We're going to take the front of the chest, and you're going to pinch the leg um, horizontally. So you have the seams that you've sewn up the, the top and the, the back of it, and you're going to pinch them like this. Closed, flat, like that. And then the toe is going to kick up. Here, Tony, let's go to the top. So the toe, now that we can go to the top because it's there. Pinch it close like this. And then the back side of the leg, you're going to, that's the side that you want to be looking at. And we're going to place that there. Right? So legs come up. Because then, once we fold this guy inside out, he will go like this and he'll lay correctly, and then this seam all gets sewn together. Liz, did I send the email the correct way? You sent me an email. I, I'll have to check, Michael. I don't, I'm not, I don't know what you're asking. <laughs> um, and then actually for the legs, I'm going to use a larger size basting tape to hold them in place. So I'm going to tape them shut, because uh, that just helps construction. There's a little more wiggle room with your seams on the appendage attachments. Uh, they're pretty, they're all tucked into seams. Yeah. So you feel a little more room to play with. Hey, look, it's facing the right direction. Hey, we got, a, we got an ear on a head. That's how the ear go. So you sew on one ear onto your face panels, or your top of head panels, and then you sew the very top on, then you sew the other ear on. It's kind of a, kind of a process when you get this many seams together, but it, it works. Oh, uh, yes, Michael, I did. I did look at that. And just like Wednesday, we're making sure all of our alignment really snaps in on the neck area. Yes. For every piece. One thing that I do like to do um, when it comes to like pinching all these seams together is that mm -hmm. I will fold one side of the seam one way so I've got material going this way and then mm -hmm. on the top side I'm going to fold the seam the other way so that I don't have all of my folded seams like overlapping which could you just get even out that lump. Exactly. I even out the lump. Hey, take a look leather. Thanks for subscribing. It's Jessica, I'm sure she's resubscribing. Well, resubscribing. Hello now. little one. Howdy. All right. So we've got that leg together. <laughs> I was all excited. New person, new person. 
That's it. We're, Luna we're coming. We're coming. Oh. Yeah, we were coming along. Luna, why Luna. Is this? Allie, just pop her in the nose. Just give her the people settle back. Go. Hey, Go. come here. We're still working on the children. Go find thing. Shirley. Come here. Where's your bed Where's your bag? Not that one. <laughs> Luna. Luna. We're gonna have to put you in the office if you don't come. Come here. Go. Let me zoom this camera in just a little bit. You follow your heart. Hi, Luna. But if you do that, then you can't see a Luna face. Luna face. Yeah, I don't think a Luna face is gonna stay there long. <laughs> yeah. She gone. Luna face got things to do. Alrighty. Important dog stuff. <laughs> oh man, she sure does tell them to get off her lawn. The delivery drivers, <laughs> the neighbors walking their dog not in our lawn, the neighbors across the street. Did I tell you about the cat and the possum that have teamed up in my neighborhood? I don't believe so. There's a little little stray that lives under the townhouse next to mine, and she's just been there for a long time. She's just angry and stares at you when you walk by. So I always say good morning to her when I walk by. Of course. And uh, the other day I saw her elsewhere, but a possum where she usually is. <laughs> I was like, oh no, Patsy got evicted. Don't, uh, don't say hi to that. That's why I named her as Patsy. Because uh, she's a crazy cat and Patsy Clan has some crazy. But, um, <laughs> but uh, yesterday morning I was leaving for work and I see the cat and the possum like laying together. Uh -uh. Yes, like snuggled up to each other, staring at me. I was like, well, this neighborhood's gone. It's we can't win this battle. Wow. Yeah. A cat and a possum. Yep. That's a first. Taking over the neighborhood. It's, a, it's an unstoppable force if I've ever seen one. Yeah, possums are scary. Are they so cute, though? When they're not being When they're not hissing insane. at you? <laughs> I, I love seeing all the little critters around my place, though. Makes me happy. Alrighty, and then with um, the leg, you want to kind of line it up as close to the center seam on the chest as you can get. Um, because you don't want it in that side seam. So you should have just enough room to kind of place it slightly to the side of your chest seam, but then still not meet the the main side seam or like overlap it so the machine makes such a nice noise going through the shearling you can like just hear the needle pushing through it <laughs> <laughs> okay and then you're gonna sew the legs on first before you actually attach the back part so that you can make sure that they are positioned correctly and then you sew the back onto the rest of it. And yeah, I'm checking for oh, checking for bald spots on my seam here and you can see I, I got I got all my fuzz. He did all right. He did no all bald right. Bald spots on there. So it's it's good to check that every every seam. Yeah. Because they take it's, enough wrestling that it's worth not Exactly. Redoing. I was going to say, if your machine's sewing, it's not the end of the world. Is Once you check it, you'd be like, all right, I need to go back through and hit this one again. Yep. But if you're hand sewing, I'm, you want to make sure that you are more than covering your seam to make sure. Because you don't want to hand sew that twice. That would be, I would be real bummed. I'd like probably give up. Thing twice, yeah. Everybody says that they like possums. People, yeah, are, people are possum fans. They're great. They're cute. The awesome possum. And they right? eat a lot of terrible pest bugs. Ooh. They, see, I'm happy with that because I hate bugs. They eat ticks. Uh, ticks are the worst. Uh, ticks are the worst. Possums can't get rabies. That's what they, did. That's what they yeah. just said. Okay. Christian was like, they can't get rabies. I feel like, it, unless I have chickens, if I ever see a possum or a black snake, like a black rat snake, they're, they're new friends. They pay rent. Because pest control is great. Ain't nothing wrong <laughs> with a great king snake at the house. Yep. Because if a snake eats mice, that's better. Maybe. Better for my house. I can't see what he's doing over there. Really, I have a snake under my house and a mouse in the pantry. Maybe these bears Where's will just lay room? down for now. Look at that. Now you can see what Ryan's doing. I don't know. I needed to see what I was doing. Now you got that. Crazy song stuck in my head. It's a great song. It is a great song. 
I think I listened to it on the way home last night. Nice. Everybody say hi to looms. The good thing about king snakes at your house is that they also eat copperheads and eat other snakes. Nice. Yeah, so. Anytime someone is like, like, ah, I found a big black snake under my porch last night and killed it. I'm just like, no, you fool. That's a that's an animal that pays rent. <laughs> what a foolish move you've ever made. <laughs> my brother used to do uh, outdoor education with kids. And he'd have these kids out that didn't get to, you know, go hiking much. So he'd get to show them all the cool stuff they found on the trail, like snakes and things. And one time he picked up a black snake and was showing it to the kids and talking about them and how they are great pest control and generally pretty chill. And while he's talking about this, it just starts biting the crap out of him. <laughs> and he just bam, 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 hit his arm. And he's just trying to play it cool while his arm's like bleeding with a snake just latched onto it with these kids around. Yeah, he didn't want to scare the kids off of, you know, snakes and hiking. All righty. Nice. Okay. There's a face. Yep. Yeah, so the other ear on. And, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Luna. Take your <laughs> costume. <laughs> yes, hello, my dear. Luna's a big fan of me because I give pets freely. <laughs> this morning, she hasn't been a fan of anybody. She's been on the I'm going to bite everybody that tries to touch me bandwagon this morning. Fun. I think it's because Tony got her all again. riled up. Oh, come here, Luna. Oh, yeah, she got someone. Chevy redeemed a treat. Come here. I, and I apologize for everyone I keep referring to by your screen name. Do screen it. names. It's gonna take me a while to learn your real names. There you go, Chevy. Thanks. Hey, thanks, Chevy. <laughs> okay. The second ear is trickier. So now I'm sewing an ear into a three-part scene. Oh, and it did tell you to kind of like start punching the the, the holes for the neck before you assemble, mm -hmm. which you definitely, you can follow the instructions and do that. We chose to not do that and to kind of figure it out at the end. Um, I'm not that confident in my seam alignment. Yeah. That things will have, you know, the same seam length when I go to sew them at the end. Yeah. So we, we, we did ch choose to not do that. And you guys do your own thing. Um, I will say that for sewing on the eyeballs, I, we've got our four millimeter like tube punches, mm -hmm. um, our, our sets, and that works perfectly for the specific buttons that I got because I can punch them on either side of the seam, and then this, the the whole size matches up perfectly. Yeah. So four mm -hmm. holes, one punch, good to go. It was exciting when we discovered that. Yes, yeah. the four millimeter. That's the four millimeter. Yeah. So for this specific button, it worked great. Some buttons are going to have the holes farther apart or closer together. I got my buttons at Hobby Lobby. They are the Sewology. This is the noses, and then this was my eye buttons that I that I oh, bought. Those are numbers too. Yep, yeah, those I are the numbers. Those numbers correspond to something at Hobby Lobby. Yep. Yeah, so that was the button, and then I mean, this is, I just chose black because I went simple, but. They got all, I almost got some ceramic eyeballs, but then they were like six bucks for a three pack. So I was going to have to buy two packs to get my four. And, very and, I, creepy. and I decided that I didn't need cute ceramic eyes. Why did ceramic eyeballs come in a three pack? That raises more questions. Well, I mean, they're just buttons. Why? So maybe like a sweater, like you would only have three on a sweater as opposed to four buttons. So I'm having to cheat here and sew my ear shut after the fact, because I did not catch both sides of it in the seam but it will still catch in the next part of the construction. Okay. Let's see here. So Michael wants me to explain the crazy days. So every November we do a crazy day sale. We started it three years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so this year we will be continuing. We just do like it started in 2020 with the 20 crazy days because it was 2020. Last year we did 21 because it was 2021. This year Wait, we're going to do 22. What? Uh, you know, things like that. So we will start on November 9th, correct, Tony? Correct. And that will take us to the end of the month. So on November 9th, we will start our 22 crazy days, which is the day that I get back from Vegas. So it was the day before. It's the day we after. The In any case, whatever. We were looking at the sheet yesterday, and there's a new leather 
four every day and sometimes oh. multiple. Yep. Leathers. And sometimes two. So we have a huge leather selection. We bought an odd lot batch of leathers that actually came in really awesome quantities. So we will be um, offering and releasing those for the 22 crazy days. Um, so yeah, so every day there will be a new release of products. Some products will be super limited special. Some we should have quantity of to run through the whole month. Um, so I just kind of the first day has 4,000 something feet. In it. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So, um, you can, you know, yeah. buy once a week gotta, or you could wait to the end and hopefully the what you want is still available. We will also have Until some then. hardware stuff. We'll be running sales on different things. Um, on cyber Monday, Tony and I will do a whole day of live shopping. Um, so that's a thing to watch out for. It's a lot of it's a lot of fun. Really watch out. You it's should watch thing. out because you'll never Maybe know learn. what's going to happen. The uh, the crazy days sale is very like it's cool. It's a lot of big sales, but it is mostly crazy here. It really yeah. We're crazy the whole place for doing up. it. All righty, you want to <laughs> sew my Get my legs off the on? Oh, Luna, Luna, come on. Get off the sewing machine. I'm gonna tear it off and put my fingers and give a needle. So I feel like sewing my finger again. Uh, just oh, move what the have I done? yeah. It should be fine. It was fine. She just stood right on. Luna just sewed something. It was a good time. Oh, luckily, not my finger. Alrighty, so we've got this. Perfect. So, uh, Tony. It's the eye of the needle. Exactly. So here's our face. We've got our two ears on. We've got the we've got the front nut. So before we do anything else, we're gonna go ahead and start hand sewing that. So the nose goes right where everything comes together. Right there. It's super handy. I just kind of go through the black on the I know. And then I will center the eyes somewhere along, like probably in the center of the seam. I will we've got a center finding ruler. We do. So put the eyes on either side and then we'll be good to go. Nobody told Clayton we're using a center finding ruler. All right, and this just gets sewn right across. Yep, you're gonna sew that, and then right. he gets put on. Oof. If you're if you're on Friends of Springfield Leather, uh, Rob uh, Gunslinger, Gunslinger. Yeah, he got to use some of the crazy horse ox blood. He came in, and I was like, let's just make sure that that it works really well. If you can make a coat out of it, because that's what we've talked about. And he's like, I'll buy his side. Yeah, but so you'll see it there. Oh, Not Striker. We got your email, um, and so we, Tony, beta. Tony will be working on finding you some gray, some gray leather. I, I know I have some blue. I got to find the gray one. I forgot. It's in a gay so. lord of leather. I have y'all around to get them for me. Oh. She's... I thought you were prepared for this. I, you know. Oh, did you bring a sharp needle? Yes, there's one Glovers and two Harness. Uh-huh. Okay, so ahead. There's the Glovers. Yep. 16 bucks. So I'm using the Harness needle for the eyes because I will poke those holes, but I'm using a Glovers needle for the nose because I don't have a great way, so I'm just going to wing it as far as sewing the nose on. Andrea said, so basically I need to have a grand set and ready for... Probably. That, 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 that sounds like a great idea, Andrea. A grand idea. Yeah. <laughs> a grand... <laughs> That was good. Took, took me a second there, but that was that was pretty good. Oh, is there a difference between opossum and possum? Yes. Uh, the opossum is your North American little trash monster, uh, and the possum without the O is the Australian super adorable version. Because uh, we got their possum and they got ours. Because every other animal in Australia is scary, <laughs> but their possums are ridiculously cute. Ow! There it is. <laughs> Man, two videos. I, I didn't do that the other day when yeah. I was, but today. Ow! Mostly, I stab myself with the harness needles because something goes wrong, or I'll like gesture with a needle in my yeah. hand. Uh -huh. Do we yeah. need to call Ty in here with her first aid? Right. Here's your band aid for the day. And a cricket. No crickets, Ryan. And I sew on all sides of the little nose triangle like where all the pieces come together and that will hopefully center the button the best mm -hmm. <sighs> what i'm just reading the chat 
There's this. Other Josh, one. we we did get at least one of them. I saw it. Uh, somebody put it on Denny's desk because you sent it to Denny. So I believe the one that you sent to Denny um, made it here. But I still don't know if we've gotten that first one. All right, hang on. I'll be back. All right. Hmm. Hmm. I have a shadow that's gonna follow me. Will you go? Can you take can it? Denny's shadow. Yes. And look for trading cards on it from Joshua. Armstrong, please, and thank you. Everybody else thinks we're going to go for... So for this team, it's a little more of a fight. I went ahead and got the guide out of the way, because I'm using binder clips and just using the foot as my visual guide. I think that's what my favorite is, <laughs> we love you, Michael. I do. We tell people all the time that, uh, hey, can you do this hand sewing? I talk about it all the time. It's like, there is no reason that you should be complaining about hand sewing. That's right. <laughs> They're like, but it takes so much time. I was like, let me tell you a little story. A friend of mine. That's right, George Jones. You did, Abigail. Or, Abigail. You did, Chevy. Abigail is totally in-house today. She was on her way back through, so she decided she would physically come to work today. So she just cool. wanted to come hang out. Did it play the Abigail on camera scene? Oh, good, Josh. Well, that means we did get your card, so... Good. Hey. Fair legs. Oh, those are the last ones that did I succeeded. Hey, look at that. There's a leg. Hey, Tony. Hey, what? You uh, want to show us some legs? You want to show us a little leg over All there? Right. So now he's got his Music's legs on. It's a little darker at night when I get asked that question, but... <laughs> <laughs> There's that. Alrighty. No one's seeing that, huh, Luna? Luna really wants these bears. She does. Yeah. Rose was slobbering all over the suede one, of course. Yeah. So Not bleeding too bad. We find it blends in with the orange. <laughs> so now we are going to put the butt on the bear. So we have uh, overhead, Tony. The butt. To to okay. Josh was hard out here. Ryan. Well, stop doing so many jobs. With the butt, and just kind of line it up as best you can with this part. And again, I'm going to do binder clips in wrestling rather than uh, edge scroller. Double check, make sure I'm doing it right. Jace. Jace? Yep, you just sew the back on now. Boop. You fill him in. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Other no, the other yeah. way. His butt. Oh, no, you're right. I was, I was, this, I was playing yeah. the camera. <laughs> this camera looks at us this way, though. Alrighty, now well, I got well, it. Front front so let's see here. So this is our thank you from Josh. Josh Armstrong out there tooled us a uh, oak leaf and a flower. Thanks so much. Ooh. I like the way he does his Janus egg. Yeah. yeah. Still looking acorns there. I like the antique on the flower a lot. I like the kind of haze around it. Yeah. So thank you so much. We will get you out one of Denny's cards and probably one of Kevin's too, just so we can send them both at once. Uh, any tips for sewing the eyes on not crookedly? Measure twice or once. Ah! Don't spill your water with your coffee. That's a did that would have been a Denny move if I've ever seen one. Um so what I did is I mean the eyes it's pretty easy to not sew the eyes on crooked. So I'm gonna find the center. I'll take my ruler here in a minute, but I'm just gonna Take, so you've got the two holes. I'm just going to find wherever the center is. I'm going to punch two holes on this side of my seam and two holes on that side of my seam, and then just sew them on, and then it's fine. And then they're round, so nothing really should be all that crooked about it. I go all the way around. Ooh. I thought I was just doing the bottom. I'm assuming this corner lines up with the butt. Oh, but to the bottom of the arm, so you need yeah. to mark your arm uh, here. Yes. Oh, yeah. So on the pattern, 
you have the arm section is marked. So on your, um, yep, on each side, you want to mark the bottom of the arm. And then you're going to sew from that point down and around. And you'll sew the legs all in. And then you'll sew up to the armholes. And then you sew each arm in separately. It's not quite halfway down the bear. No. It is a little bit tricky on these eye holes. Like when I'm punching, you want to make sure that you have to like move the seam over and then you have to push it over to the other side so you can punch on both sides of the seam. Actually, I actually think I'm going to put his eyes a little bit lower than I had on the other bear. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Who do you? Thanks. I believe you, Liz. Wow, this is a lot worse than it is when you're doing <laughs> sweet leather. I can't see. Well, neither can he. He haven't put his eyes on yet. I know. Or blind man. It's buttonholes. It'll be fine. A lot of wiggle room on a button. And then no more sharp needle. Right now. Oh, right, Josh. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me of that. Thank you that I did that. Thank yes. you that I did Thank that. Thank you for letting me remember that I already did that. Good job, Liz. Thanks. Good job, past Liz. Yeah. Because he emailed us and he was like, hey, I just, I sent in a card and I just submitted an order. Can you ship me out a trading card with my order? And I was like, oh. yeah, of course we can do that. That saves us time. Yeah. So I did that. If you ever have a request that'll save us time, those are our favorite. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of sewing through the fur. Mm -hmm. It's funky. Not in a good way. <laughs> not in like a sweet baseline kind of way. You know what I'm going to, that's all I'm going to do. I just, because um, on the other one, number one, it was suede so I could see what I was doing. But I also just used like machine thread that I pulled off the machine. But this one I'm using wax thread. Mm -hmm. So the one... It fills up those holes just fine. I feel pretty secure about it. It's a wax thread. I'm just going to tie it off and call that a day. Make that easy on myself. All right. Now the fun sewing. How do I want to do this? It's going to about tie a bow. <laughs> Crazy eyed bear. <laughs> yeah, Liz and I have been having a lot of fun on this project. Yeah, it's been good. Luna. Chris came by this morning to see if I could help set up the rock show. Oh. Like, hey, how swamped are you today? I was like, not bad, but I've got live video. He's like, no, curse your teddy bear. I think I think he found the other Ryan. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he got a good crew to go with him. Oh, Michael, I'm sorry. Hey, next time, I mean, the label that I sent you would be kind of crazy, but you could totally send it using that label. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, Tony, you want to give us in the little camera what Ryan's doing over there? No. I don't, you can probably not really see much of it anyway. can't really see anything. It's a poofy butt. <laughs> yep. He's full of legs. Just a lot of me trying not to sew myself to the bear. I'm going to do that. Did we tell you guys that Ryan did try to sew himself to a project? While doing a demonstration. No, I succeeded. Yeah, he, he did sew himself to a project. That was a that was a pretty that was an interesting day. Yeah. <laughs> so that was when you got your uh, grasshopper from Ty. That was when I received a present that I did not ask for, nor did I want. It's okay, Ty's proven herself untrustworthy. That's right. I that always was... say that because I know she's watching, she always does. There's a lot of little games we play around the shop with each other and try to catch each other up. And one day she asked me, hey, Ryan, can you help me with this? And then got me with one of the games. And I was like, you've leveraged my like desire to help people. That is, <laughs> that's dark time. <laughs> Clips. 
They don't hang up on the uh, table as bad as binder clips. Thanks, yeah. Anderson. Yeah, they sit flatter, which is nice because mm -hmm. they don't have that. <laughs> Luna, they're. Oh. We have some visitors, visitors out in the door. Luna's got a lot to say today, today, and she's about to Jurassic Park that door. Well, she doesn't have a thumb to pull it, so if she was on the other side, she could open it and come this in. Like a Tyrannosaurus Rex trying. To exactly, but she can't get out. <laughs> Hey, torture me in here! Actually, I need. Boy, I am blindly hoping I'm catching everything at this point. How did you do this, Liz? Um, right carefully. About, right about the same. Just kind of like, well, I assume this is. It was a lot easier doing with suede. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, like any uh, sort of upholstery leather or a suede is going to make your life way easier making the bear and just using a little bit of shearling here and there. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Boy, it adds a lot of bulk. It does, yeah. And you're already sewing your four-layered seams with three seams joining at one point in some cases. So now we're going to figure out how to do this. Hi, Wayne. Five seam corner? Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Mm -hmm. It was easier coming the other way. Now I've got it. It's just... This. Oh, you know what? I think I sewed the bottom first, and then I sewed up the sides. I didn't do uh, it all at once. Yeah. Well, that would be smart. That That is what I did. It's you doing things the smart way. I may have not read the instructions. I may have just sewed the bottom up and been like, all right, that's good. And then I sewed up the sides. Yep. Good choice. Uh, she was whining at the door, Michael. We have we had a, a vendor that came in and Rusty was showing him around. And so they were standing right outside the door here and our curtains are open so they could see in. And Luna, you know, it was people that she doesn't know. So she's protecting the whole store. Hey, we're live in here. From people that we don't know. <laughs> Alrighty, there's our face. Hey, what? There's our little face. Isn't he cute? Little teddy bear. With our ears. Aww. Alrighty. So now I'm going to put the back of the head on. Nope, Luna. I go. Hey, go. Go. <laughs> go. Away from the machine pedal. I love you very much, doggy. It's Jenny B. Bye, Ron. Oof. Yeah, I think I caught everything. Yes. Not, we'll give it a not, give it a little flip, and we'll find out. Well, it's gonna be so hard to turn it back. Well, then, yeah, yeah, don't do that. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'll just. We'll there's see. a bear in there. I promise. There's a there's a bear in there. Yeah, so this is this is when it starts to get really fun because now you're also supposed to put the arms in, um, and then like literally like straight jacket uh, the bear the together. The is really good. So it's pretty uh, fun. Um, but it was really hard. So what I did is I ended up. The machine on this do you want one? me to do? Okay. Well, here's here's the head, so you can tape up the back of that. Here we go. Good job on that face. Thanks. It's pretty cute. Yeah, I like more. the little velvet nose. I have yet to use the shiny nose, yeah. but I think the velvet nose the is really satin nice. Nose is the way yeah, to go. yeah, it's, yeah, it's wonderful. Oh, I hate you right now. Me? Yeah. Because I right. made you trade. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's fair. All right. So this. So the feet are facing toes up, <laughs> and then Luna. Actually, oh, I do think God. that I did this once. I think I turned him inside out, and I just. Mm. Oh, now we can actually see if I hey. caught everything. Yeah. Hey. Perfect. No holes. Look at that. We've got a bear butt. And his tail is up higher than his the other one. His tail sits right there where it should. Like that. Got this. Look at that. Alrighty. So now... We'll say this does look better than the first one. It's been a lot harder, but we're, we're doing better. Yes. See? Second time's a charm. Alright. So now arms, I'm going to sew one side at a time. 
I'm just going to stick them in here, tape this all up, and then I'm just going to do that. And I'll just sew that shut. And I'll do that on both sides. And that's going to be way easier than trying to stick them in and then sewing up the sides. That would be terrible. You can just put the arms on first and then put the feet, then put the back down on. Hmm? What? I don't know. Mike, that's what Mike was saying. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let me see that quarter inch. Luna, well, you know, you're just desperate today, huh? Girl. She's desperate every day. Yeah. That's her MO. Me and Justin have learned we need to kind of plan our videos around if Walter's here. Because Walter will lose his mind if I'm shooting a video with Justin. Hey, hey Luna. Hey, ma'am. Ma'am. I'm busy, okay? I got some work I need to do. She's like, I need to save you from the child. <laughs> Thanks, Ralph. That would be perfect. <laughs> Good girl. Good, okay? You got it. Lay down. You I don't know if you can see the other. We, we got a. Uh, Spam again. Oh, did yeah. we? Okay. I did not see that. Fun. Oh, Chevy was showing off this cool pen holder that he got. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did he get a cool pen holder? Uh -huh. Hey. He's got a Sharpie's held in there. Look at that, Chevy. Yeah. Chevy. Hey, we do like you. <laughs> tell me you made that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can tell we really like you because we have to justify it. <laughs> Hey, we sent you stuff. <laughs> we can't we make it with qualifications. Yeah. Your fire bot is not very good, but... <laughs> See, we do like you. Now get over it. Your friendship is... Okay. <laughs> well. Alrighty. He's a bug eater up there in Nebraska. You know who also is a bug eater? That's Denny. what they call people from Nebraska. Oh, Denny's bug wife eater. is a bug eater? <laughs> she is a literal bug eater. She's a literal bug eater. Can that was a whole conversation more? we had at dinner, and it was so on that. She like, yeah. I mean, that's the whole thing is eating bugs. Yeah, like that's the wave of the future when she we just digs it. Wanna, yeah, she thinks that it's fascinating. Like it. She Good loves her. to try bugs. Nice. She's pretty funny. She's pretty, she's pretty funny. Yeah, I want to meet her. We had a, we had a good cook, time. Cook them dinner. Has anybody been seeing the new shorts that we've been doing on YouTube? Is our is any of our regulars interested in any of our non live things? Yeah. If, if you want to see, Armstrong had comment on one of them. He's like, "Oh, I really like the little short videos." If you want to see more of my hands, check out our shorts. Loons. <sighs> uh oh. Am I shopping the bloopers yesterday? Yeah. Or just, I, I guess it's not really bloopers or outtakes. It's mostly just. It's just humor. Regular. <laughs> it's just how we operate. <laughs> Hey Luna, did anyone ask you for your opinion? <laughs> Allie is hiding in the curtains, like on Friends when they scared Ross. <laughs> All my Friends fans out there, um, and Luna doesn't know how she feels about it. No, she knows how she feels about it. <laughs> Not a fan. Andrew's impressed that I have done. <laughs> Luna, can you Some take her leather. to Chris's office and put her in there? Yeah. Come on, Luna. Put her down. She was surprised that I had done leather crafting. Oh, really? Andrea had. Zero's not sure if he wants to see my shorts. I've already shown my legs off. Alrighty. We've got an arm pinched in here. <laughs> I think everything is even. We've got, once again, neck is important. This is the neck, so my front and my back pieces line up. They line up. That is the most important. I kind of had to... This is pretty stretchy, like the shearling is, is pretty stretchy, mm -hmm. so if you start kind of pinching here, then you can kind of just make all of this work. You yep. just kind of pin, pinch little, it together. Little tucks aren't going to cause any problems. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's going to be fine, and that is more important for these two pieces. Like to I'm doing along the head. Line up. Exactly. Here we go. Thanks, Liz. You're the best. Mm-hmm. has a very important question for Ryan. Yeah, yeah. What is it? You want to See my hand in more shorts. Hey, fair enough. That is... <laughs> Listen, sometimes things just come out before we really think about them. I'm... I am not very good at processing what I'm about to say yep. before it exits my lips. There's been many times that I've said things like, oh man, if I could go back in time. <laughs> I would unsay those Just things. this once. Yep, I said that. <laughs> those words already fell out of my head. Moving on. Don't judge, Tori. Don't judge. 
Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> hmm. If you go to the bridal double, if you go to the bridal double shoulders BDS on our website, there's a tote bag on there. I made that tote bag too. Yes. That's the tote bag that my wife carries. I can craft. I can craft. Okay. Wow. I can't craft. Got it from the authority. Yeah. Who knows you better than her? See, on the head here, you can see we have quite a bit just due to the way we've had to adjust some seams as we went. Quite a bit of the uh, top panel of the head that's going to get trimmed off in the end to make the neck line up nice and clean, uh, which is quite all right. No, I think. But like we said before, don't trim beforehand. Mm. Don't trim until you're ready to put the head on the body. The item number is BDS, <laughs> bridal double shoulder. Yeah, I knew that that was going to come yeah. back to haunt you there. But hey, at least we can blame it on chat today. It's not us. Yeah. I don't need any more help. I'm going to go pretty far past where this arm is, and then I'm going to backstitch a decent amount. Yep. So I really, because you're giving it to a child, and they're probably going to try to tug on their arms, swing them around like kids like to do. Mm -hmm. I had a teddy bear when I was a kid that I was very surprised survived my childhood. I used to have this really big pink teddy bear, mm -hmm. and when I grew up, I was like, oh, I, I want that again. You know, like, once you kind of get to, like, your teenage years, you the parents put away the teddy toys or whatever, and yeah. you just don't have them. And I was like, mom, like, I was like, where's my pink teddy bear? She's like, oh, I gave that to your to your niece. And I was like, excuse me? You gave my teddy bear away? And I was very sad for a while, but I suppose it's fine that Michelle got it. Oh, boom. Shakalaka. Oh, hey. Look at that arm. Know, Michelle. Look at it. You do know Michelle. Why she works here. Michelle's great. Alrighty, so there is arm number one attached. We don't have any funky shearling spots there, so super excited about that. And they are just a little bit shorter. They they reach about the toes. Look, he can do toe touches, Perfect. so that's good. Pretty happy with that. I like it. Alrighty. So then we're going to trim off. Just going to go ahead and trim that off a little bit. Can you hand me those scissors? Thank you. Oh, I grabbed them that way. And now for the worst part. <laughs> Looking at it inside out. Arm number two. Yeah. This uh, head's fighting back. Is the is the? Do you need a sew? Um, I don't know. I'm still trying to get aligned in such a way that I have confidence in the ability to sew it while catching all the layers. Because those ears, much like the tail. Make things very difficult. Yeah, this is the point in the project when we were like, okay, this is not necessarily a, like, ah, oh, my first leather project. Or my first sewing project. Yeah. It's a fun bear. Because I could, you know, pucker this downward, mm -hmm. but then he's going to have a really pointy head like our other one did. So gotcha. I think I'm going to bring it up. And just sew. it'll trim. Sure. Bring it up quite a lot. Uh and then I'm putting basting tape on both sides of my little arm seam so that it catches because I have to put my, my most of my arm in there. So I don't want I don't want tape on just one side. All right, I am ready to sew. I'm gonna swap out. And you can talk and clip and tape. <laughs> Well, I grip my teeth, and so. What is the most forgiving sign? Probably this, way so I can see the seam. Oh. This tape really does not like to come off the shearling. No, getting the backing off of it? Uh -huh. Yeah, I felt, felt like a moron all day Wednesday for that video. Just fighting it for half an hour. Any good plans this weekend, Liz? Oh, wait, rock the, show. The rock show. Sure do. did that. Trying to pack. Make sure all my laundry is done. 
Yeah. And then you want to make sure the little arm has, you know, like a little badoop there where this, like, that's the top of the hand. So you want to make sure that that's pointing up a badoop. That's Otherwise badoop. known as a wrist. Yeah. Or just like a hand. Maybe it's like a little fist. He can, like, is that punching bear? Uh, see, I thought it was kind of like, eh. oh. Uh, that's my thought. Yeah. Yeah. He's a punching. Punch he's a, pu he's a punching bear, guys. This one's a punching bear. This one's a hugging bear. He's got his hands out. <laughs> that's a punching yeah. bear. So but this, you want to make sure, is facing upwards when you install the arm. Install the arm. The old arm install. Do a lot of that back on the job sites, Stoney. Installing arms here and there. Yeah. Yeah, this weekend, me and a buddy are going to get together finally after years of talking about it and just watch a bunch of Godzilla movies and hang out. <laughs> Sounds a, like my father in law's perfect day. Yep. Yeah, there's a couple that like I've seen and he has it, and I'm like, oh, they're great, and vice versa. Let's just make a day of it. It's really funny. Yeah. I bought, Chad did um, a drawing of Godzilla last year. Nice. And I, I got the original one for, for Chris's dad because he loves Godzilla so much. Excellent. And it was really funny because his uh, his stepson also got him like a really big Kong and Godzilla, like the, the Pops figures, but like the really big ones. Oh, that's fantastic. So then he had a Kong and Godzilla Pop head figure and then our drawing of Chad and he, he made a cute little display over the mantle, which his wife was not thrilled about. <laughs> that that dried veg, that colored veg we had, do you remember? Is it chewable? What was it? Um, pink and red. And red no, it's and not. Blue. It's finished. Yeah, it's not. You That's you can I mean. probably put like your maker's mark in it, and it will hold the stamp, but it's not toolable. You could go crazy with some deglazer and maybe get a little bit of basket weave going. But I doubt it. It's. You you try the leather it, before you. I think it comes back out. It'll yeah. stamp in there, but as time goes back, it. Yeah. yeah. If you got it to a point where you could effectively tool it, you would have completely fried the leather. Chevy, I don't do much on the internet after I leave work. I'm like cleaning, watching my dogs, doing laundry. Sometimes I work out every once in a while when, those, she, when I'm not napping. She will TikTok. She's one of those weird productive I, people. I do. I do TikTok a little bit, but only at specific times. She just ticks. And you're just a scroller. You don't, you don't Exactly. Yeah. I'm just a scroller. Just a scroller. <laughs> now that Chris is getting back into making knives, he's decided that he needs to, to like do videos yeah and so he has bought all of the fancy cameras to do like perspective videos so he's got one that yeah. like attaches to his shirt and then he bought one of those really fancy ones that like action filmers do where like it like it, it's at the end of the stick and it's the 360 one it's like the long thingy anyway so that came so he's been like walking around our house with that now playing with it but little is it oh she doesn't seem to care but yeah, Dean, I like last night I was exhausted when I got home and I slept until about 8.30 at night. And then I got up and I... That's bedtime. <laughs> <sighs> you might as well just go to sleep again. Well, we go to bed at midnight. That's the time. That right, you people are... Yeah, we're crazy. late stair uppers. I'm in bed at nine. That's cute, Ryan. Yeah, I'm you're, old. You're old. Except for last night, I got home at like 9.30. But that's because I was doing nerd stuff. Yeah, once once Chris gets his stuff going, I don't know when he's going to actually start doing those kind of things. But in any case, I'll let you guys know. It's Costa Knives, and so I'm assuming that the TikTok he will make will be Costa Knives. Okay. Now you've said it online. If he I doesn't see. have it already. His, his Instagram is Costa Knives. You can check it out. I don't think he's posted in like three years, but you can check it out. He's got some cool stuff on there. You see what he used to do? He's still getting followers somehow after like literally not posting forever. <laughs> me but and my people brothers, are still like, he hasn't lost anybody. Me and my page be like, you got a new follower. I'm like, cool, we haven't played a show in seven years. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see how this turned out. I'm really, really anxious about this scene. You got it. I have Ooh. so much faith in, she says, oh, this is going to be terrible. Look, I have this much room to sew out of my little neck hole here. I can that is not a bad shaped bear head. Yay. Hey, look at that. Oh, yeah, that's a lot less yeah. bulbous. <laughs> yeah. A little... Fred's head is pretty Weird. intense. Look at that. Yeah, so he just kind of took in. How much How much did you... Oh, is it still in there? Yeah. Oh, a lot. Yeah. So uh, I took we'll in a lot you... off that top panel because I remember that bear being a little weird. So you can see this is the... 
top triangle that you sew on after you get your ears on. And that is that is how much I sewed in. It's almost an inch. Yeah. Um, uh, pretty much an inch. Yeah. We have a ruler right here you can measure. But yeah, that's how much we <laughs> took so, off. Yeah, three quarters. Um, <laughs> but also it's not an exact science and not perfectly straight. But the nice thing is stuffing is out. pretty forgiving. That's right. If you made that pattern even bigger, you could wear that you could have eye holes on where it's mask. Oh yeah. Have a bear mask. I might need you to hold that. That'd be pretty solid. <laughs> I broke a needle twice trying to this is like the part that I was at. You need me to come around over there? Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe this table is close enough. Okay. Would you like clips? No, I don't need any clips. I just need the bear to moral support. I just need the bear. Just to stay. And the difficult part is like holding your thread to get going so that your tension stays correct. Yeah. And then not every time I would break a needle is because I was holding the thread too tight. Yeah. Yeah, same. That the 16 snaps I'll use in 18. I mean you can sew a little upside down Y to make a mouth for your bear. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be cute. Do it. I think two of my favorite things I'm seeing in chat right now is Dean saying I like naps. Same. Big fan. Uh, and Troy <laughs> saying I hate cranky if I have to stay up later than eight. I always tell my friends if they want to hang out with me, they better get a hold of me before six. And I better be heading to hang out with them before seven. If it's after seven, I'm not leaving the house. <laughs> oh, Liz, what size of basic tape are you using? I used quarter inch for these arms, but for a yep. lot of the seams, we used eighth inch. Eighth inch. Because they're quarter inch uh, seam allowances. Yeah. So your eighth inch tape will not show at all, and you don't have to go in and do any fiddly cleanup. I like the little uh, megaphone emoji when you're asking a question. That's handy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it makes them very visible when shout, looking at chat. Shout your questions. I like that. She asked it earlier, but then I forgot. Yeah, That's yeah. That's probably why she shouted it. That's why she's yelling at me. Yeah, yell your yell your questions. We got multiple chats going. I yell at people all the time. That's very, true. Very welcome, Andrea. All right, I guess I'm gonna put some stuff in this bear's head. Yeah, because now we're to the terrible part. Because yep, we gotta see how it lines up and then do the most fun hand stitch. All right, hopefully this arm is as good as my other arm. Great arms. Only, only great arms. Oh, this one side is. So as I close. said, I looked over and saw your bear tattoo, and I just realized you could do this with uh, a brand on your bear, so it has tattoos. Oh yeah, be great. A little punk bear. Mm. Sign's gonna be. Uh oh, someone redeemed Wackatoni. That's okay. Tony doesn't have to put it on screen. Oh, nap got cut short today. That's rough. Um, Tony you already are taking a nap? It's not even noon yet. Hey, I'm all about naps. They're great. Alrighty. So we've got we've got bare body. Just like that. And start putting some stuff in them. <laughs> Ty had some fun recommendations for the design of the bear. Oh yeah, I forgot. She's from South Africa. Oh, that will change your time a little bit. Oh, that's the perfect time for a nap. Well, hey, I hope you're watching us while you have a nice dinner. Hey, we haven't seen Germany in a while. Was Where it you Germany? At? Yeah. I don't know what happened um, to... What was his name? Marcus. Marcus. Does anybody know what's going on with Marcus? Miss you, Marcus. He gave up on us. So those Americans are crazy. Fair. You're not wrong. Oh, I'm so I'm so happy about this. So see all of our all of our little neck yeah. seams on the top of the head line up perfectly there. Look how amazing that is. A lot less of a nightmare. Look, it's like a candy dish. Just a little stuffing. Hmm. Look at that. It's and like, then uh, the body. Look, oh, this is yeah, this is so exciting. So then in the body, all these neck seams. All right, you guys. So this is the next part. It's gonna be a much better time than it the first is, one. It is noon, so this yep. is we're probably just gonna tell you about it, and then we'll start. So yeah. Yeah, you can machine this, stitch the front on. This sews to this <laughs> like that. Surprise! <laughs> what? So the pattern tells you to put 
The pattern tells you to punch your holes in all of these sections before you assemble this, which you can do. But I still feel like you can punch them like this and it's okay. So you can just hang them off the edge of your workspace and you can still punch them. So we have decided to not pre-punch them. Um, it is also a little bit easier to start sewing it probably without the stuffing in it. Um, and then once you get maybe like half the head sewn on to put the stuffing in yeah. before you finish sewing it up. We're just trying to make it look. Yeah, to kind of show you guys what it's supposed to look like. So yeah, you can use yeah, we did. Listen. We did better with this one. Listen, look at that. But that's why you do a practice bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fixed his head. <laughs> and then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up these center lines here. Mm -hmm. We can pull some stuffing out. You fix this up. Yeah. So we're going to line up these center lines, and I'm going to attempt to machine sew the front half of the neck together. But we'll. You want to punch the back first before we do that? So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we'll pull some stuffing out so we can do that. Yeah. But, and then that's it. And then we're just going to hand sew and it's going to be a bear to hand sew, but that's what it's going to do. So we are going to line up these. We will sew the seam across the front. Huh. Yeah. Nah. Um, You're not missing me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's <laughs> make sure there's no things. All sorts of things. And then. And then we'll hand sew the back. So we're going to pre-punch our holes there. And Hopefully, everything seemed like it lined up really well. Yeah. For my sanity, good. I'm going to go to the six millimeter. No, that sounds great. And I'm going to start. If you are machine sewing this, a long stitch length on your machine to get through all of that fluff. If you have a short stitch length, Which it's just going to like bunch up and it's is going a bit to. Short. Yeah. It's just going to perforate your seam because it's not, it can't get through all the shear length. So as long of the stitch length as you can get away with. There it is. It was like, just had a slight amount of suction, so I just couldn't grab it at I all. I can't pick it up. It made me look really cool and capable. <laughs> um, so the way I'm going to punch this is I'm going to line up my stitching punch. Is that visible at all? Not really. I'll do it out here, but not actually. Do <laughs> line up my stitching punch right on that seam, and then just kind of eyeball where one over is, and then punch over to the next seam. Count how many punch like holes I made, note it, do it the other direction, and then just make sure I have the same number of holes on the neck yep. in the matching directions. Yeah, then you want to punch as close to that shirling as you can get. And if you're ever not confident in your uh, gusset making for bags, this is also how I'll make bags that I just slap a gusset together for. Yeah. Is I'll just count the holes. You just count holes. They can be four different numbers of holes, but you're not going to have twisted corners because everything lines up. That's right. Can you that mouth, please? I sure can. Thank you, ma'am. I'm going to drink my coffee while he does that. Boy, well, you can't really see your holes. Yeah, once again, Shirley, terrible. <laughs> uh, it's a horrible material. It's, uh, but buy it. I mean, it's fun. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. It, it, it is what it is, but it's not... It's a different beast. This is a sheep, not a cow. That's, that's right. I'll see myself out. Yeah, we went. Uh, I've got a handful of people here at work that I've gotten to start playing. Uh, We're the same. It's fine. Magic with me, which is fun. <laughs> Oop. Right. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 13. Christian, we do that all the time in the shop. We just do, we'll take a leather strip and screws, and then you just literally have the tool that you want to put there. You'll wrap the leather strip around the handle, and then you'll put a screw in, and you'll just do the next one, and you go all the way down until you run out of leather. Um, that's how Denny has most of his tools up on uh, his slat board yep. for the ones that, well, it's pretty much all of them. It's the way to go. Yeah. Um, I need to build something like that for my house. Yeah. It's really, there's not a lot to it. Or you could even, like, if you want to hang a little uh, stamping tool leather pouch up, you build a leather pouch with the mm -hmm. tools, you attach a strap to the back of it to give it that security, and then you just screw that strap right in to a piece of wood yep. and mount it wherever it is that you want it to go. So there's not a lot. There's not a lot to it. Mm -hmm. We've had some people ask about, like, Denny's 
uh, little leather tool roll mm -hmm. designs, but honestly, it's just like, well, what tools do you want to carry? How many do you want one tool per section? Do you want a bunch of tools to be able to fit into a pouch? And then you kind of design it for you. You just fold some leather over and lay sew it out, up. sew your pockets yeah, and just mentally prepare yourself for re remaking it in two months because you're going to buy more tools. You're going to want to carry different ones. I know I'm having to remake all my tooling stamp holders. Just because it's, boy, it's grown. Okay, and how many holes start this way? Oh, let's go. Hey, 13 both directions. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, perfect. So 13 both directions on the yep. back of the head here. Yep. So the way I note this, uh, what? It's a little hard to see. Oh. What? A little hard to see on here, but I just always give myself this little diagram of there's my seam. I'm starting one hole off of the seam, back left, back right. And I will have these diagrams for like every project I do. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you finish like counting one thing and then you count the next thing and then you can't remember the first thing that you yep. counted. Like that number is just gone. Yep. So it is good to write it down. That's Why always... not make a video for that project? Because uh, he probably did it on a Saturday. Yeah. Still can. <laughs> Be good short, A. So now you just count your holes as you punch them. So there's six. We did do like a little tour of Denny's studio a while back. That was just a recorded video, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. You remember yeah, Tony? With you? Oh, I thought maybe like you or Abigail did a tour of Denny's. Oh yeah, it was like a... Like when he's got his well, new... Right after he went over there. Yeah. Yeah. There should be a little tour, and you can kind of see the way that Denny has, has set up his, his base. Honestly, the reason that we haven't done a video on it is it, we just feel like it's it's a pretty, like, customizable thing, and it's really quite straightforward. So you have a piece of leather that's whatever the length that you want. Denny has made an oil tan one before. The last one that he made was a deerskin one, and it was like a double-decker. Um, you're going to roll the top edge to provide a little bit of stability. You're going to fold it up and then you're going to sew whatever size pockets you he want. He thought Jim's was so cool. He wanted to make himself Exactly. Fun. Exactly. So everything Jim does is cool. Jim's a cool guy. Yeah. I like Jim. Yeah. So six, 11. We'll do a little short on it. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be easy one to knock out. Anyway, did you get any? 12, 12, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, Sides I've cut a lot of strips out of, and I've just got like weird flanky belly uh, areas so I can get long pieces out of. And I'll just leave the flanky belly on it, and it just looks kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Denny left that natural edge on the deerskin one that he made mm -hmm. for the flap. <laughs> Chevy Look at my questions. No, Nick. <laughs> No neck. No neck. No neck. Yuck. Ryan, we know you've got all the, the fat wrinkles. How's your how's your neck length? <laughs> I can't do it. It's yeah, I, I feel Real dumb. Wednesday. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. You're doing great, Liz. I believe in you. It's not okay. your fault. You're okay. a good leather crafter. I think I think I got I think I got it. You're a good there leather it is. crafter and a smart person. There it is. <laughs> we got it. That was difficult. So now it's all right side out, but you want to tape your bear staring at its own belly button. That's right. Uh, face to face. Face to belly. That will allow it to sit correctly once you flip it back, and you'll have that nice tucked seam. Uh, so this uh, stitch we're doing on the back is a little bit weird, uh, but it works to take those two sides 
and have your stitch holes meet in the middle and curl that stitch allow or your seam allowance in. Uh, it just takes forever. <laughs> I am not sure what you just said. You're very focused. You know? <laughs> All righty. Uh, probably should use the quarter inch. Oh, maybe. I think I think this is going to call for some clips here in this section. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Love the clips. Clips will never show in your seam. I'm going to put all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's terrible. It's great with the 26 on this part, too. Yes, you. I, this would be terrible on a flatbed. You just stuff the post in the bear. <laughs> Alrighty. So we're, once again, machine stitching the front of the neck on, and then we will hand sew the back of it. Does SLC have a women's clutch pattern? Um, we don't... I don't think we have a... Right. We don't have a pattern. We've got an acrylic template. Oh, we do have that acrylic template. Mm -hmm. Um, but we do have the... the kit, the clutch kit. Mm -hmm. Which, honestly, if you wanted to, you could contact us. We have if you want pattern pieces for it, we could click it out of Bontex. Um, however, we don't have any instructions on like how to assemble it because we do that yeah. here. I guess we could send you our route sheets, but um, I don't know if no, we have sure a video. Yet. I thought of putting a clutch together. We did do that, but I think it was just with the parts already assembled. Yeah, so the, if we sent you like the pieces that we cut, uh, there yeah. wouldn't be instructions on how to assemble those pieces together. Because yeah. the uh, the kit comes with an assembled interior. Yeah, uh, like most of our kits. Oh, goodness gracious. Because that's the point of buying a wallet kit, is not having to sew on six pockets. Mm. Oh, all the basic tape is out. Yeah, we're at 8th inch right now. Is, are all sizes out now? Because the other day I went to look for 8th inch with no success, but... Hey, no, keep buying it all. <laughs> Justin, we need them to buy stuff. Right, which way is which way is bigger? Uh, bigger number. Uh, counterclockwise. This way. Yeah. You don't know why it was so tight. Uh, looks like we have three. Eight, eight, eight. Ooh, big stuff. That's not that bad. Just take your just take your snips and cut it. Andy had made a jig to uh, cut quarter inch and eighth inch. It's just he had an exacto blade mounted on a piece of wood that raised it an eighth inch off of another piece of wood where he would just lay down and quarter inch roll, just push against that blade and turn. And you get yourself some eighth inch tape. Sometimes we run out. Bye, Dean. Alrighty. Try to hit that seam on the side of the neck. Oh, yeah, good gracious. Yeah, this one's tough because we've got a machine stitch and a hand stitch trying to hit opposite side seams without too much pucker or gap. Um, so feel free to hand sew this. But yeah, I wouldn't we knew be it was going to take it. a minute. So we just are doing this. And the instructions have it explained to uh, kind of have the collar coming off of your body and then the neck just tucks into that and you just mm -hmm. lap sew it uh, hand stitched. Um, when you do that, that works great, but you end up needing to put a little necktie on it or something or a scarf to cover that so it doesn't just look like the Frankenstein bear. Unless that's what you're after, in which case, nice. Do some big chunky hand stitching everywhere. Ugh, missed. It would probably be when I would sew my finger. It was right there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of, yeah, just forcing the shearling under the foot. Well, especially like with the seam, like you want, once again, you want one side of your seam to lay this way and one side to lay this yep. way so that it's not all in one section. So like you gotta force that first one through there. And when you are doing stuff like this on a machine, be careful not to actually push your needle 
Yeah, that's how we broke them. Best case scenario, you break your needle. Uh, worst case scenario, you're going to just push it at an angle where it just wallows out the bobbin hole there, and also will cause timing issues. Uh, yeah. So it's it's tricky when you're when you're doing this push down on your material to pinch it under the foot rather than pushing it forwards to force it through the foot. Uh, and watch your fingers. <laughs> Always watch your fingers. The machine will not hesitate. <laughs> And you could also do um, so totally different style because I've seen teddy bears where the neck is sewn flat like the arms and legs. Uh, oh, he's just smushed in. Mm -hmm. And then you could leave your opening right around the, the butt joint uh, to stuff it a little easier. Or somebody suggested the other day you just put a zipper up the back. Mm -hmm. Looks like we have an order in for Jason Just taking some time. Yeah, it kind of gets here when it gets here. Sort of thing. Always fun. Because we use it a lot in our sewing department. That's why we made a jig to cut quarter inch and one eighth. <laughs> How's it going, Liz? I'm almost there. I'll say, from what I can see on the monitor, it looks good. You can't see anything. Every now and then I can catch a glimpse of seam. Who sharpened this shoe hammer? It's, it's sharp. <laughs> so if you have a shoe hammer, yeah, keep your face and your tail polished, but yikes. Don't make it a blade. We got bored in here one day. Yeah, it's a danger hammer. Going to school for geology, I spent a lot of time with hammers that have, you know, a spike or a chisel at the back. Don't get your face in there. Yeah. Alrighty, folks, that is a head hey. halfway on a bear. Yep. Woo! And if you want to see the not... hand stitching get started, jump over to the after party. Yep, we'll get going and then we're not. That's, that's not so shabby, guys. That's pretty good. good. Look like a little pretty thing. good. We'll get them all stuffed back up and then this guy's going to hand sew it because yeah. I'm done. Uh, I will here. tell you, I'm not going to finish it during the after party because lunch exists. That's true. Let's <laughs> hear it. Striker, did SLC offer custom stamp design? Custom, offer custom design cutting services. Mm -mm. Um, so, oh, yeah. we, n n no, not kind for of. like an individual product. Yeah. So, if you have something that you want to make a lot of, um, we can do cutting dies. We do not have like a CNC leather cutting machine to do like, we're going to lay out this hide and cut it in your 50 different parts because right. you're going to make shoes or whatever. If you or do want cutting dies though, just But yeah, so if you me. are like, hey, I make this holster all the time or I make this wristband or I make mm -hmm. this tag or whatever it is, we can have a cutting die made. We go through Texas Custom Dies. You can have your cutting die made and ship it, it here. Um, if we have to draw the die for you, the there is charge. a yep. There is a little bit of a, a fee to do that. Um, otherwise, that's how we do custom cutting. We do a lot of custom cutting here yeah. for a lot of people, um, but we do not have a CNC to like you send us your one big file and then we cut this one hide into things yeah. each individual time. Or if people so. order, you know, three square feet, I need it this dimension. We cut your three square feet. To where you can get those dimensions out of it. Or you know, we tell you you're actually going to need five square feet to cut <laughs> those is, dimensions. That is the most yeah. often result. Uh, but yeah, we can definitely provide some cutting services, yeah. but um, we do require dies to be made. So. And if you if you do need a die or want to talk about drawing a die or get some ideas of how much they cost, you can just email me. It's ryan at springfieldleather.com. That's right. Um, and me or Andy will be happy to help you out. Yep. Uh, so that's what we do. Yep. The rest of this. Just gets hand sewed down. We got those holes yep. punched. We'll get them stuffed, and that's that will be that. And then we've got Mr. Teddy Bear all ready to go. And again, so. we'll get some we'll get some pictures of him when he's not so oh, yeah. flumpy. Yeah, is that a word? So that's all ready. Sewed up. All my seam looks good. Caught all the fuzz. Yep. No weird bald spots. Great success. All righty, guys. Well, everybody have a wonderful weekend. Yes. I will not be here for the next two weeks. So mm. have fun with Tony and then Denny when he gets back. It's going to be great and awesome, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> we will see you guys later. And have a, have a great one. Bye. Bye.
See ya.